Hey there guys, so before this video starts I figured I'd tell you because I'm unsure if a lot of people know but there is a competition going currently where two people can win a game each so the first game is Space Engineers and the second game is Starbound now if you want in on this competition please go into the description where you'll find a link to the video that explains everything there and hopefully you guys will want to win some cool games for Christmas so enjoy the video guys Hello there guys, my name is Jag and and welcome back to another Spotlight video. So, what are we looking at today in the game of Space Engineers? Well, we're looking at this thing called the Chinese Carrier. Now, it has been on the workshop for some time and it's... I, I, I figured, screw it, let's have a look at what this thing is. There's a lot of small ships involved in it and I'm currently getting about 30 frames a second. So this thing halves my frame rate and I've had to, to tone the graphics down as well because of it. So... This was built by a guy called underscore unauthorized underscore and uh, he's done an immense job at trying to capture what is, you know, a typical carrier. Now some of the thruster placements could have been a little bit better in my eyes. Um, I'm not a fan of seeing them stick out like this but uh, I can deal with it for the, the immensity of the ship. He's actually managed to put a rotored uh, a rotated landing pad in which is really really nice so it actually has that angle to it which is just beautiful to look at and it's done it's done really well actually it's uh, it's just oh my god so much time and effort has gone into these um, and then you've also got these like fighters that he's actually put with um, reloadable sort of sections and he's got these cargo containers and whatnot and it just it's just really cool like, again like the fighters themselves he's put wheels on and on these weird stands and they look really, really cool, again, with pistons attached so they can actually, uh, you know, pull in and whatnot. And he's also got, right down to the itty-bitty details, like on a carrier, you would have these popping up sections to protect against heat. So, he, they've put these on and basically it, it basically allows the proportion of the ship, like right, basically allows them to fly off quicker. So it's really, really nicely done. He's even gone down to putting the helicopters in. Um, with with chairs and things, I might actually have to look up the mod pack he's used for some of these different fixtures and fittings because they actually are really nice. Um, interiors of the ship um, um, I'm a bit eh. um, and the colour scheme again it's China, so it's uh, you know he's gone with just like a minimalist grey, black, and red and yellow. So uh, it, it's really 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 nice what he's managed to achieve with this, even with the elevators. Now we're going to have to try and figure out how to work one of these elevators. I'd love to um, just so we could take one of these ships down and uh, you know do all that gubbins. But he's got like little support cars that move the ships or move the crafts around and these basically are like a, like a forklift so these will lift up and move the ship into place where it can fly off. And what else has he got around here? I think he's just got a, a mixture of all the different ships. Um, I think if we start going inside, we'll see what's actually uh, available to us. So, we come through here, greeted by very, very clean walls, and what we got through here. Okay, so we've got like some space station astronaut bays. Um, that's another door. I'm literally going to open everything because I'm unsure what is around here. Some really nice views, and he's using the same pack, well, the same... Um, skyboxes that I use on my world for the double driver stuff which is really really nice I really do like that and he's got these cool lockers those actually look really cool They're a bit higher than the uh, other ones that I've been using they're quite different actually hmm strange so we'll come down here and there's plenty of access to everything we'll do the top first then come back down for everything else the ship is very big so expect a long video so We've got a lovely, lovely looking control room where you can actually see everything that is going on, which is something you need to have in a ship like this. So it's absolutely amazing. Um, if we go through here, oh, it just takes us out onto the main deck. But we can actually walk up here, and where does this take us? Where does this take us? Where's this? Oh, okay, right, so we've got plenty of views outside, which is again really nice. You can see the planes up in the air there. And what's through here? Alright, so we've got that, 
and then another staircase that heads downwards for some reason and back onto this walkway yeah and there's just like really nifty little walkways here there and everywhere which is really beautiful actually it just allows you to see more of the ship they're, they're a bit pointless but nice <laughs> i don't know what to say about them without being sounding harsh or something so we've got this really really nice area again just plenty of lookout points and he's actually got those sticking out bits there there um do you have any more i think there's some more knocking around but if you hear the odd bash of a piston that is just purely down to just pistons being pistons and rotors being rotors so just just try and ignore that if you can so i'll actually head back down 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 and down here we go so he's actually thought really hot oh wow that's like saying the emergency exit is up there. That, 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 this is something I need to look into. <laughs> um, so we've actually got some turrets here really well placed because you'd have enemies come down here, try and raid it, get shot. Um, another area for your troops to derobe and things. And then we're actually in the main hangar bay here. Oh wow. This looks complicated. Sweet niblets. And then we're back to that staircase which I would have come down. We've got two access ports there which I'll have to head down in a bit if I remember. And then we've actually got the lift here which I'm hoping has some sort of switch so we can see this in operation. So if I go K. Um, elevator, elevator lock. Let's turn that off now. Oh. Unlock. Let's lock it again. Elevator 2. Unlock. There we go. So we got the right one. Elevator 2. Reverse. Oh wow. Well this looks very precarious. I'll give it that. It's wobbling a little bit, which I'm not a fan of. Oh my god. Oh sweet Jesus. So he's actually got like a like um I think it's one of the piston mods that you can get for the for Space Engineers and he's actually got like a piston that comes down and a short you know, a short range and then he's got a longer one. That's really nice. And it comes down really nicely actually. Again a bit a little bit wobbly. You guys can witness that wobble, it does wobble a lot. But that is really, really nicely done. Look at that. Yeah, I love these things when there's so much time and effort gone into things like this. It's just beautiful to watch. It's a bit of a tight squeeze to get these planes in and out. And you would have to park them pretty, pretty, you know, well to get them up and down. But it does work. And <laughs> it works really well. So that's a really nice touch to have those in there. It's just, again adding to you know the uh, immersiveness of this ship it's just absolutely brilliant okay so that took us onto a viewing balcony again we've got plenty of these crafts under here my god it is a it is a legitimate carrier of sorts and then back here we've just got more stackers we got that lift there danger high voltage when we touch power room there we go so I I like the use of uh, vanilla blocks in this because it actually uses the vanilla um, reactors the reason why I don't use the vanilla reactors is because they don't look very nice um, a lot of the vanilla things look very plain and I prefer the more complicated stuff like this so we got a nice storage room in here all yellow marked out nicely to which areas you are currently in orange room for refining obviously so if we drop down here we have refiners, we have the uh, blast furnaces, um, gravity generator, more importantly. And we've got, again, like a little console here, which is what I'm doing in my ships now, where I put a console at the back in areas which I feel like need more control. And what's this? Bedding area. This is really, it's really quite quaint, this. Oh, wow. So he's got the sage's desk and the sage's bed here. Um, he's also got one of these suit changes again. He likes these suit changes, I think. <laughs> And it's nice how he's actually got like uh, matching colours for things. Are they like all blue? Yeah. Um, does the colour indicate anything? Oh wow. He's just got cargo for days in there. Oh my god. Is it mirrored? Yeah, it's mirrored. Okay, so all these rooms are actually a little bit different. Oh, and we got a. Oh wow, we got a kitchen. Look at this. It's a nicely off the trail kitchen for the crew. And just like an officer's room where he's actually got full control of the ship and everything else. That, that's like a more important person room. And we come through here. Where are we going? I like the, the use of thin corridors. It's it's nice. Ammunition. Alright, so this is an ammo room. Oh, wow. 
Wow. That's pretty impressive. It's got a nice ammunition room there. And I like these signs. So we've got food, eating area. Right next to the ammo dump, which I feel is a good choice because just in case your your crew need to arm up quickly. We come through here. More bedding, my god. He's really thought this through. He's got all these beds down here, bunk beds to, to serve everyone. And again, thin corridors. These are really good for defense. So it's it's a really, really good touch there. And then we've got the med room back here, which is in blue. Oh wow. This is uh, quite chilling. Let me come through here, and then we got the med beds where they all will all lie and heal and stuff, and doctors will do their thing. And he's actually got multiple ways of getting through these ships, which is nice. Uh, what else have we got around here? I love the fact that he's had to use so many grav generators on this ship because it. I'm literally just keep. I just keep going. Just keep going. He's got more rooms for people to get changed in. What's through here. Just more storage. Is that the same here? More storage? Yep. And then we're here, so where does this take us? Where have you taken me? So, oh wow, so this is like a like a briefing room where they would brief the enemy on whatever, using the screens to project to. And then we've got another high voltage room, which is the battery room. So he's actually figured, he's actually thought of, you know, having um, battery cells in here to power the ship in case the power does shut down for some reason which is really really good and we're back on the main deck so we've actually just gone up down and around I think sweet niblets this this ship is absolutely amazing this is something that I, I, I mean I thought I put detail in the ships but th this is just ridiculous I mean what we need to do is we need to get up to the control room really which is all the way up here I like the little flag it's a nice touch Alright, so if we go back to the control room, which was over there, I'm going to try and operate some of these, these gears and things and gizmos. So if we jump in here and go K, um, we have the jet blast deflector. Oh, wow. It's a really nice place to fly from as well, isn't it? My god. Uh, so we got this. Um, if we reverse that, what does it do? What does it do? What does it do? Oh, that one at the back's going down. Um, I'll actually put them all up so you can see more of them move. There we go. So you can see them all moving up. That is such a cool feature to have. Just little things like that. Just just the small things. And we'll bring that elevator back up as well. So there we go. So we can actually watch this elevator come up as it would IRL. Look at this. And you've got like a little support thing there which will refuel and just this is ridiculous. Even the spinny things at the top, which you don't have any clue what they do. Oh, it's actually got. So, I think that lift is having a little bit of an issue. Uh, I think it's because of the speed it's going, but it wobbles. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, it wobble. I think it's got a massive wobble on that. Is a bit worrying. A little bit worrying. But uh, overall, I mean. Everything seems to work well. I've broke nothing yet. All there is to do now is take one of those ships out for a ride and uh, destroy some shit. So we're going to get him one that's ready to take off, which is these two here. Now I'm hoping he's got some sort of gravity blocks on these. Or is it? So how would I control? How does one control one of these ships? Let's pair it up. And P. Oh wow. Oh okay, so those those landing gears don't really work too well. Um the these ships are just like yeah. Uh that 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 that, that was that was uh interesting. I'm just breaking everything. So let's see how these how these actually handle. Oh wow, he's actually got like, cannons on him and stuff. That, there's no sound to it, but I mean uh, he's actually got cannons. Oh maybe there is sound. Or is that just, yeah, it's just the sound of it colliding. So these cannons do that, and then the rockets. Oh wow, rockets are really hard to... <laughs> See, oh wow, my god, I'm just causing chaos now. Oh wow. Well, these do handle like a fighter, and it's, uh, it's really refreshing, actually. They're a bit um slow to turn every now and then, but... Uh, 
Yeah, let's let's give the uh, helicopters a try. Let's just uh, jump out of that. Oh wow! And it does actually have the um, it does actually land as you would expect. But I broke the back landing gears off by accident. By accident, it wasn't my fault. Okay, so let's jump in one of these choppers, which I believe have spinny rotary things. So, G, or is it on a K menu? AI drone node, oh my god. Um, v, is it when I turn the ship on? No. <laughs> well, this is really nifty. <laughs> So, I'm actually flying in a chopper right now. Wow. Well, uh, this is uh, definitely something I I like. I, I really do like this. I mean, I'm just going to... just How am I going to do this? I'm just going to give this a thumbs up, you know. Just a massive thumbs up for this. Yeah, so that has been the Chinese battle cruiser. Um, or battle carrier, whatever you want to call it. Battleship. Um, it again was made by underscore unauthorized underscore and if you guys have enjoyed this sorry it's been a bit of a long video but uh, the ship is massive and I hope you guys have enjoyed. Peace.